Hey guys, I'm Jayesh and you're watching Hustlers TV. In this video, we will see 8 entrepreneurs who sold their startups for billions of dollars and became multi-millionaires and billionaires in the process. At number 1, we have Yancom. Yancom is a Ukrainian-American billionaire entrepreneur and computer programmer. Yancom is the founder of WhatsApp, the most popular messaging app in the world. After working with Yahoo for over 9 years, Yan quit his job in 2007 and developed WhatsApp along with his co-founder Brian Acton who was his co-worker at Yahoo. The first version of WhatsApp was launched in 2009 and in just 3 years it became the most popular messaging application in the world. Just after 5 years of starting WhatsApp, in February of 2014, WhatsApp was acquired by Facebook for $19.3 billion which made Yan and his co-founder Brian billionaires. As of August 2020, Forbes estimate Yan's net worth at $10 billion. We have made a separate video on the entire story of WhatsApp. Feel free to check it out. The link will be in the description. At number 2 and 3, we have Sachin and Bini Bansal. Sachin Bansal and Bini Bansal are Indian billionaire entrepreneurs known for founding Flipkart, the largest e-commerce company in India. Both completed their bachelor's degree in computer engineering from IIT Delhi in 2006 and joined Amazon Web Services as software engineer. Just after one year of working for Amazon, they both quit in 2007 and the same year in October started an online bookstore named Flipkart with an initial investment of 4 lakh rupees or 6000 USD. In the next 11 years, they transformed the business from just an online bookstore to the biggest e-commerce company in India. And in August of 2018, US retail giant Walmart acquired 81% controlling stake in Flipkart for $16 billion which made both the founders billionaires. Today both have become investors supporting startups like Ola Electric, Ether Motors, Unacademy and several others. In case you're wondering, they both are not brothers. At number 4 and 5, we have Nicholas Zenström and Janis Frias. Nicholas Zenström is a Swedish entrepreneur and Janis Frias is a Danish entrepreneur and computer programmer best known for founding Skype. Before co-founding Skype, in the year of 2000, they both started Kaza, a peer-to-peer file-sharing application. Kaza was sold to Sherman Networks. In 2003, they both co-founded Skype in Sweden. Skype allowed users to communicate over the internet by voice, using a microphone, by video, using a webcam, and by instant messaging. All of this is trivial today, but was revolutionary back then. On 12th of September 2005, just two years after starting the company, American e-commerce giant eBay acquired Skype technologies for approximately $2.5 billion which made the founders multi-millionaires. In 2009, eBay sold 65% of Skype technologies to an investment consortium for $1.9 billion. Both the founders were part of the investment firm. In May of 2011, Skype was purchased by Microsoft for $8.5 billion which made Zenstrom and Frias approximately $1 billion between them. As of today, Nicholas heads his technology investment firm Atomica and Yanis works at Starship Technologies which he co-founded in 2014 to develop small self-driving delivery robots. At number 6, we have Linda Winman. Linda Winman is an American businesswoman, computer instructor and author who founded an online software training website lynda.com with her husband Bruce Heaven. Before founding lynda.com, she used to work as an animator for Hollywood films and also taught digital media and motion graphics at Art Center College of Design in Pasadena, California. Linda started lynda.com in 1995 as a way to communicate with the students effectively. Later they started adding all sorts of courses and by 2004, there were over 100 courses on the platform. By 2008, the company began producing and publishing documentaries on creative leaders, artists and entrepreneurs. On 9th of April 2015, LinkedIn announced that it would buy lynda.com for $1.5 billion which made Linda a multi-millionaire in the process. As of 2020, Forbes estimates her net worth at $300 million and she is ranked 69th in the America's self-made woman list. Today, Linda.com is renamed to LinkedIn Learning. At number 7, we have Mark Lohr. Mark Lohr is an American serial entrepreneur known for selling not one but two companies. In 2005, he and Vinit Bharara started a company called Quidzy Incorporation. Under Quidzy, they started an e-commerce site named Diapers.com. The website sold necessary baby care products. From 2005 to 2012, the company launched a portfolio of websites 
catering to families including soap.com and wag.com. In 2011, just six years after starting the company, Amazon bought it for $545 million, which made the founders multi-millionaires. Mark then worked with Amazon for the next two years, and in 2014, co-founded another e-commerce company, Jet.com, with Nate Frost and Mike Hanrahan. Jet.com raised $820 million over four venture rounds from GV, Goldman Sachs, Bain Capital Ventures, Axel Partners, Alibaba Group, and Fidelity Group. On 8th of August 2016, US retail giant Walmart acquired Jet.com for $3 billion in cash and $300 million in stock. And Mark was appointed as president and chief executive officer of Walmart's e-commerce business in US. As of today, he's working in the same role. And at number 8, we have Jyoti Bansal. Jyoti Bansal is an Indian-born Silicon Valley technology entrepreneur best known for founding AppDynamics. Bansal was born in Rajasthan, India and in 1999 graduated from IIT Delhi with a bachelor's degree in computer science and moved to United States in 2000. For the next 7 years he worked for several startups in Silicon Valley. In 2007 Bansal got his green card and became a permanent resident and the next year in April of 2008 Bansal founded his own startup AppDynamics an application performance management company. The company provides tools for monitoring, diagnosing and troubleshooting performance slowdowns and other glitches in software code. In the next 8 years, Jyoti secured big clients like Netflix, Electronic Arts and HBO and by 2015, the company grew from a one-man team to over 900 employees. In March of 2017, just before they were going for an IPO, Cisco acquired AppDynamics for $3.7 billion. Today Jyoti works at his new startup Harness which is a continuous development as a service platform helping developers release their code quickly and securely. Apart from the above there are many other entrepreneurs who sold their startups for billions of dollars and feel free to mention any name in the comment section. So that's it for today guys if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up if you're new here then please consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on content like this. If this is your first time here then go ahead and check out our business story playlist. Thank you for watching see you in the next video bye.